Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a day to night makeup look. I was actually requested to do a video like this. Now, when it comes to doing a video like this, I know for a day look, a lot of people have different ideas of what they want to wear in the daytime. For some people, it's a very natural look, or for some others, it might be a more of a kind of smoky look. Like, I'm the kind of person that I will wear a bronze smoky eye, like, to the grocery store. Like, I don't care. But some people like to be a bit more natural. So I started off with kind of a brown look, and then I worked my way into this kind of smoky look, which is kind of inspired by the look that I did in my Get Ready With me 19th birthday video so yeah so if you guys like this look please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you will always know when I upload a new video also I want to say that the winner of my Bath and Body Works $50 e-gift card is going to be announced in an annotation in this video or in the description bar below probably both and the reason why I'm not saying the name of the winner is because at the time time that this video is filmed, the contest is still going on, but by the time this video is uploaded, the contest will be over, if that makes sense to anybody. If you're a YouTuber, you might get what I'm saying. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling, and let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial. I am just starting off with my foundation, which is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, and this is in the shade 110 Natural Ivory, and all I am doing is just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And after I finish this, I am going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. This is just going to help keep my eyeshadows on all day and keep them from creasing. Then I'm going into my Lorac Pro Palette. I know, another Lorac Pro Palette tutorial. And I'm starting off with the eyeshadow taupe. And I'm just going to run this into my crease with my Sigma E25. Now, when I run this into my crease, I am going a little bit above my crease. And that is just going to help my eyelids appear bigger because I have kind of small eyelids and not a lot of space for eyeshadow. And then I'm taking the eyeshadow pewter. Now, this is a kind of kind of dark brown I wouldn't say but it's definitely a bit darker than some people like to go for a daytime look so you could definitely opt for something lighter like cream or um, anything like that from the Lorac Pro Palette. Now this is where I would apply my highlight, my eyeliner, and mascara and call it a day for the daytime look but we're going to smoke it up a little bit to show you how to do this for nighttime. So I'm going to grab the eyeshadow espresso and taking an e.l.f. contour brush I am just running that onto the outer corner and kind of pulling it into the crease just a little bit. Then I am going into or going back with my um, Sigma E25 and I'm just blending that out and kind of pulling it into the crease. And then I'm going back in and applying more color. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this color is very, very pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. It's easier to add some color, blend, and then if you want to come back in with more color, you can do that. And I am just repeating that same process over on the other eye. Going back into the palette, I am grabbing the black eyeshadow and I am just dipping my brush into this very, very lightly because it is super pigmented. And I am just taking a pencil brush and I am just basically outlining the outer V of my eye. And that's just going to add just a little bit of definition. And I'm also taking my pencil brush and I'm using that to blend out that color, if that makes sense. Then going back into the palette, I'm grabbing the eyeshadow pewter and using a Real Techniques shading brush, I am just running that along the lower lash line and I am just stopping right before I get to the tear duct. This is going to be a blending shade for our lower lash line because we're going to go back in with a darker color. But before we go back in with the darker color, we're going to grab the eyeshadow nude and we're going to go ahead and highlight the inner corner of the eye. I like doing this when I'm wearing darker shadows because it really helps my eyes appear more open and bigger because sometimes darker shadows can kind of close my eye. I'm doing the same method of just lightly dipping my brush into espresso and I am running that along the outer third outer half of the lower lash line and I'm making sure to connect that color with the outer V color. Um, and that's just going to make kind of an angled effect, which is going to make the eye kind of lift. And then I'm taking the eyeshadow cream, and I am using that as a highlight shade with my Sigma E60. And I'm just running that on to my brow bone. And then I'm going in with the eyeshadow nude again. 
And I'm just taking that and putting that into the arch of my eyebrow and that's just going to give my brows more of an arch look because naturally I don't have a brow arch. And then I'm taking my eyeliner and I'm just using my e.l.f. Black Cream Eyeliner and I'm using my Sonicashic Bent Eyeliner Brush to apply that to the upper lash line. For eyebrows, I just used this NYX eyebrow kit that I've been loving a lot lately. I didn't really show you guys how I did my eyebrows because I'm thinking about doing a brow routine video and if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. And then for mascara, I just went in with the usual mascara which is the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara and I just applied that to the top and bottom lashes. And since I wasn't doing falsies today, I made sure to really cake on the mascara so that way I would have really full lashes. And then for concealer, I just used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Brightener Illuminator. I just applied that in an upside down triangle under my eye and then blended it out with a damp beauty blender. And then to set my foundation, I took my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in Transparent with my e.l.f. powder brush. And to set my under eye concealer, I used the Anastasia banana shade um, and I also use this to contour I didn't really go into detail about my contouring um, just because I kind of want to do a contour routine video so if you guys would like to see that let me know and then for blush I use NYX terracotta which is a super pretty color that it doesn't add a lot to your cheeks it just kind of adds a little bit of a glow which I think is really pretty and I used a Real Techniques blush brush to apply that and then for highlighting I just used my Anastasia the highlighting shade that comes in the Anastasia Contour Kit. I just apply that to the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin. Then for lips, I just took my Maybelline The Nudes Lipstick in the shade Blushing Beige, and I just applied that like you would apply lipstick. What? Do I even need to explain lipstick? I don't know. I just think it's a really, really pretty kind of neutral color that went really good with this look. Then taking my lip liner from NYX, and I believe it's a nude beige. I don't know. Um, I'll have it in the down bar. I just used that to outline my lips, and I also just kind of used it to add just a little something to my lips, like a contour to my lips almost. And I just focused it on the Cupid's bow in the middle of the lower lip and that just adds some definition to my lip. 